Hi guys, today we're here to chat about some new products from Essence that I recently picked up that I have been super, super impressed with. Essence is a really affordable brand. It's pretty readily available here in Canada. You can find it at Shoppers and Store Online, also like Superstore Dominion Loblaws. In the States, it's available at Ulta, and I know it's pretty readily available, and there's an even bigger line in Europe. So depending on where you live, I know whenever I do these Essence videos, people are like, that's not new, uh, but it kind of shows up in different places at different times and some of these things are just kind of more new to me but either way they are great so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing that I want to chat about is probably the item I was expecting to not like but I decided to try anyways and I'm so glad I did it is the essence camouflage plus matte concealer it says it is waterproof it is tattoo covering and this actually isn't technically new but I believe they've added three shades to the existing three shades so that now there's a total of six shades I mean, Essence is not known for great shade ranges. So I saw this and I was like, that might actually be my skin tone, whoa. So this is in the shade 60 Golden Toffee. And I think I actually could potentially use a shade lighter. So if you're a little bit deeper than me, I think that this could work for you too, potentially if you're like in the NC45 range, this may be like kind of a highlighting concealer for you. I like to go a little bit lighter under my eyes sometimes. So I could maybe go a shade down. I have not tested it out yet. I was kind of erring on the safe side for this, but this retails on the shop Drug Mart website for $4.99, which is an amazing price. It's going to be like even cheaper in the United States. All of the shades aren't on their website yet, but I'm impressed to see that they have extended the shade range, still needs work, but actually the performance of the concealer is really what got me because I was kind of expecting it to be not so good. Uh, so it says that it's ultra covering liquid concealer with a matte finish, covers instantly dark circles, blemishes, and tattoos, long lasting and waterproof. So I have no tattoos, I have not tested out its waterproofness, but I have worn this throughout the day several times now and I really, really like it. Like any concealer, I do allow it to set under my eyes a little bit before blending it out and I love to blend out concealer concealers with my fingers. I feel like that's the best way to get coverage, but especially with, <clears throat> excuse me, especially with this concealer, I feel like it goes on not watery, but a little bit more loose. And then as it starts to set, that's where the coverage really is. So I let it set under my eyes a little bit, pat it out with my finger, then blend out the edge with my fingers. And I do that with every concealer, but I wanted to point it out with this especially. I wouldn't like put this down and go straight in with a wet beauty sponge, but I really love it. I think it gives great coverage. It has great wear time. It looks soft under the eyes. I don't think it looks too matte. I don't have major issue issues with like dry under eyes, so I can't really speak to that, but it doesn't feel or look super drying and it has great lasting power so I was really really impressed with this uh, and I think they did a great job with this so so definitely check this out it has a little bit of an a different doe foot applicator I guess than some of the kind of more common ones it comes to a point but it's really nice good packaging and you're getting a decent amount of product in here too 0.16 fluid ounces uh, which is great especially for the price so today I have like four MVP products that I want to mention and then just a couple other essence products that I did use on my face so I thought I would chat about them uh, this is the essence loose setting powder in banana and I think this might have come out when Casey Holmes did a collection with them. I know they have a brighten up powder that I really want to try because so many of my banana powders are in a loose format and I prefer something pressed for my under eyes. It's just easier and less messy, but I did like this. I didn't, I don't think it has like a ton of coverage in there, uh, a ton of brightening properties. This is in the powders all ripe. It says it's a yellow loose powder used as a mattifying setting powder to set matte highlights or to, or for concealer baking. Uh, and yeah, I thought it was good. I'm not like blown away by it, but it is a nice loose setting powder if you're looking for one. And I do feel like because it doesn't have enough or a ton of banana-ness in there, you can use it as a setting powder, but that's kind of its downfall for me as I bought it to set my under eyes. And I do really love a nice strong under eye setting powder that has some pigmentation in there. So I like it. I'm not obsessed with it, but I definitely want to try the Brighten Up Pressed Powder. Up next we have a lash primer and as you know I'm not a huge false eyelash person so I absolutely love lash primers and I feel like the drugstore makes the best lash primers which is great because it's super affordable. So this is the Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer. This is another one of my MVPs of the day. Uh, this is super volume with super fruits and I believe it says it is infused with acai oil, mango butter, and vitamin E optimologically approved and is a lash primer for maximized volume effect. So on some of the products here on the shoppers website like the concealer and this these products are both made in Italy they, this one says it's vegan and they both say there's no animal testing I didn't see the loose banana powder on the shoppers website but that is made in China so 
the whole uh, cruelty free animal testing like some people feel it's not cruelty free unless the parent brand is cruelty free other people um, don't feel that way so I'm just kind of pointing that out along the way I'm not totally sure like Essence's full stance uh, I didn't look into that but this lash primer however is great I really really love it you know the L'Oreal lash primer is like my kind of gold standard and I feel like this does a really really good job this is $4.99 so again an incredible incredible price I don't feel like it distributes too much product on the lashes but it just adds a little something something essence historically their mascaras are some of the best out there drugstore high-end like they're incredible such a good price I love the lash princess line so I was excited to see a lash primer because they've done such great things for lashes in the past and this absolutely did not disappoint so if you're in the market for a lash primer definitely give this a try speaking of lash princess they launched another one I loved the other three the previous ones but this is different because it is the lash princess false lash effect mascara waterproof and if you know me you know that I hate waterproof mascaras I only wear them like on a beach vacation when I have to and now I've stopped even just wearing mascara while I'm like away away or down south or in the Caribbean because I just I hate hate the removal process and I don't feel like it gives my lashes a good enough look like it's they're never a mascara that I would wear if not waterproof and if I wasn't going swimming like I've tried a bunch of my favorite mascaras waterproof versions and hated it I've tried others and I hated every single one of them not necessarily the waterproof efficacy but the actual performance of the mascara so again when Essence launched this I was like I'm curious and I absolutely love it now I have not gone swimming in this so I can't say for sure about the waterproofness but I know a lot of people wear I've said waterproof so many times but I know a lot of people wear waterproof mascara on the everyday because it can tend to hold curl better or if you have uh, issues with transferring and smudging and I don't have issues with any of that so that's why I never wear waterproof mascara but I have been wearing this just to test it out like I think I would still reach for my other lash princess mascaras just because it's a little bit easier in the sense of removing it at the end of the day because I don't have issues with mascara moving around but if you in the past have been disappointed with waterproof mascara options I think that this is a great option I will definitely be taking this with me on my next trip and I don't find it is like too hard to remove and I don't find that I like lose lashes it definitely is pretty interesting intense it can get a little bit clumpy so keep that in mind when you're applying it to your lashes today I am wearing it in combination with the lash primer but you absolutely do not need a lash primer if the video is live on my Instagram I'll link it down below where I was testing this out for the first time and you can see it on its own I actually would recommend to say if you are going swimming not to add a lash primer onto a waterproof mascara just because I don't know how that would affect its ability to protect against water like making it messy but if you're just using it on the everyday it's something that you could test out for yourself but yeah I really really like this I think it gives tons of length tons of volume like it's pure madness how good it is um, but just don't go too heavy-handed with it I did a little bit today on this lash and I kind of had to separate my lashes a little bit um, but I think it's a really 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 great um, mascara option and this one as well itself as being uh, no animal testing waterproof and it says that um, dramatic volume false lash effect etc etc and this one is made in Luxembourg so I came across this contouring palette and I have not actually been contouring in quite some time I went through a big phase I think we all did um, but now I generally just use bronzer but my favorite contour powder of all time is a very expensive one you can basically buy the entire um, essence rack for the price of this like this is like 60 something dollars I think it's the Kevin Aquan sculpting powder which I've now purchased twice because my first one broke I tried to put it together with alcohol the formula was trash this is my second one and it's broken again and I did not do anything crazy with it but I love it I have a whole review on this it is truly the best contour powder out there high high price tag um, but it's no fail you cannot go wrong with it it's so blendable etc anyways I don't, I don't need to talk about that too much but the reason oh 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 no oh no I've gone and done it I broke it more why are you so delicate Kevin and like I said I did oh 
I did try the alcohol thing and it just ruined the formula in my opinion. So I'm just leaving it broken and using it on special occasions and keeping him in his velvet pouch. But the reason I purchased this essence powder is it looked similar to me. So this is the Essence Contouring Duo Palette. It says it's a duo palette, perfectly shaped and defined features apply on sides of nose, da 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 Use light powder for soft or dark powder for expressive contour. So it comes in two shades, which is very exciting. Uh, this is the darker one and I do feel like it is pretty pretty deep especially um considering the other contour powders and the other powders they've done in the past have been so fair so i used a combination of both of these today on my hairline on my cheekbone on my jawline i'm using the nars ita brush which is my favorite contour brush and such a contrast between the price of that brush and the price of this but it evens out to make them both like say 30 dollars so I really like this. I don't find it to be as like foolproof and blendable as the Kevin Aquan, which I'm kind of glad about. I mean, kind of, because I spent so much on the Kevin Aquan, but it is a really, really good option. If you do have a skin tone like mine and you have had a hard time, finding a contour powder that's not too warm, not too gray, is just a good mix. So I can actually use this as a contour powder on its own. I used it on my nose for something softer, on my cheekbones, I used a combination of both. So it's gonna depend on your skin tone, but I really thought like, even if you buy this and only use one of the powders, I think it's still a good deal. It's $6.99 at Shoppers Drug Mart, and you can always use them as eyeshadows too for like a simple eyeshadow look. It's cool toned, but not too gray. But what I wanted to do was actually swatch it next to the Kevin Aquan powder, because I haven't done that yet. Oh, she's so crumbly now. I find bronzers and like contours and stuff to be so deceptive when you swatch them on your hand. You really need to get them on your face to tell. Um, so if you can see here, the top here is Kevin Aquant, then the middle is the lightest shade from the contour palette, which like looks like nothing, right? It doesn't even look like it would show up on my face, but when I put this on my face and contoured my nose, it absolutely made a difference. And then the bottom shade here is the deeper shade. So you can see it, it is a, quite deep, it is quite cool toned, but I really like the mixture of the two and I really like this lighter one on its own. So not a complete dupe for Kevin Aquant, but once you get it on the face, I feel like it has a similar effect. Uh, it's just not as foolproof and buildable, I think, as Kevin. And if you happen to break the essence, it's not as devastating, but the essence feels a little bit stronger. I think that's why the Kevin Aquan broke, is because it is this really soft, finely milled powder that's not super, super tightly packed and dense like the Essence one is, so um, that is partially why, which is super upsetting. But anyways, uh, let's move on to the next product. So again, this is not a new product, but I just wanted to point it out because I am wearing it on my face today and I do really like it. I love their original Pure Nude highlighter, but again, it was kind of suited towards lighter skin tones. So if you didn't know, they have launched the Sunlighter, and this is in the shade Be My Sunlight, and these highlighters are great if you have uh, textured skin, if you have uh, just a preference to have something that's not crazy, crazy intense on the face because it's baked in there if you go in there with like a less dense brush it gives a really beautiful glow again this is a product that I would compare to high-end products it's not like oh it's great because it costs like five dollars like it's just a really beautiful product you get tons of actual product in here and I'm really glad that they came out with kind of like a warmer golder shade and I really uh, I really really love it because I did use the other highlighter and I liked it but it was just a little more pearly than I prefer so if you didn't know uh, she exists now in a deeper more golden color Color, which is exciting. Lastly, I have a lipstick that I want to mention that I really, really love. Uh, I would say that this is like an MVP, but it's kind of like, you know, it's just a really good drugstore lipstick and a lot of really good drugstore lipsticks <laughs> already exist. So uh, I wasn't really that surprised that it was good. Like I kind of was the other products, some of the other products, but it's a really, really great lipstick. The only downfall is the packaging. It's beautiful. It's white with rose gold. But if you have grubby makeup hands, like I always do, I really think that this kind of porous, I think it to be kind of a little bit porous material is going to get incredibly dirty, which will be super annoying. But this is in the shade 02 Happy. This is their new collection so it comes in eight different shades $4.99 it says it is vegan no animal testing and I really like this shade uh, a lot of them were open at the drugstore so just be careful of that before you go to purchase them I really like this shade it is kind of matte but creamy I think it's gonna have good lasting power I haven't actually worn this lipstick a ton either but I really really do like this shade I'm not wearing any lip liner with it essence historically has made a really really great lip product so kind of no surprise there but I do really really like this shade and they've come out with a ton of other stuff like there was like a 
chrome eyeshadows that looked good but none of the shades really appealed to me and they come out with lots of stuff and don't make a ton of hubbub about it so you really need to kind of keep an eye out on the display they've also launched tons of eyeshadows that look great too which I haven't had time to check out and they've got some good holiday sets like I saw a set of like four of their mascaras of the lash princesses or I think uh, four lipsticks things like that so those are great stocking stuffers or gifts or a secret Santa for someone else or just a great gift for yourself if you've yet to try some of their products. Uh, I really really enjoy it and I think it's a brand that can get overlooked because it's pretty colorful, it's pretty affordable, it can look not childish but just at, at a glance when I first came across the brand years ago I was like what is this? I don't get it but I tried it anyways because <laughs> I love trying new makeup and I think I tried like their pot eyeliner remember that? That was the jam back when I used to use pot eyeliners. I went through so many of those, but they have so many great products at an incredible price. Like I have a friend who wore Lancome mascara and she was like, please help me. I can't spend $30 on mascara like every month or two months. And I was like, try you some Lash Princess. And now she has switched over. So um, there's lots of great high-end mascaras out there, but if you're looking for a great drugstore price, uh, Essence is definitely that. So really, really impressed with some of these Essence launches. Let me know down below what your favorites are from them. And if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at SamanthaJaneYT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!